many of you know we have seven kids I'm only gonna share the gifts that we got for our youngest three because um, one because I'm simply not anywhere near done which I know it's getting late uh, getting the presents for our oldest four but also because I just don't want to share those uh, presents at this time because they might watch the video and that would ruin the surprise. So I'll be sharing the presents for Joseph. He's 10 years old. Peter is now seven and Maria is five years old. So let's just get right on with this. Let's just start over here with Joseph's presents. How we do Christmas presents, and we've done it like this for years and years, is we always, we get gifts in three categories. Something for fun, something to wear, and something to read. And so we have gotten very creative over the years. Some years it's very basic, like something for fun is toys, clothing is pajamas, and reading is books. We've also gotten creative, like something to wear. Um, one of our kids got snowshoes one year. We've done um, like helmets and we did a gun with a sling one year. This all started because when they were really little it seemed like we were just getting toys and toys and toys and I don't remember if I had, um, I don't really know how I came up with this idea or if Warren came up with it, whatever, but we just need to change the way that we do um, Christmas presents so that we can get away from just all the toys and that we could get them some other things that are maybe a little bit more practical and useful and sometimes just trying to think a little bit outside the box. I don't think we got too uh, creative and outside the box this year. It seems like it's just pretty basic Christmas stuff. Okay, so for Joseph, something for fun. He had been eyeing this up at Tractor Supply. Anyways, we got him this. It actually makes like lights up, makes noises, so he's gonna love that because he can be just like Dad working with tools. And then we also got him this rocket launcher. It's just an off brand, it's not Nerf, but what I liked about this is that it had these large rocket launches here. I always think that the Nerf bullets are so small and they start um, lobbing those all around the house and pretty soon you have 24, 48 of them and you can only find a couple. And so I thought if they only had two and they were a little bit bigger, they might not get lost in all the little nooks and crannies of the house. So like I said, Joseph is 10 and most of you know that he has Down syndrome. He And so this might look kind of babyish. It says up to three years old. Um, but he loves singing into a microphone. And this one, you can actually record your voice. And so I thought that he'd really like that. We have a real microphone with a little amp, but it just seems like he's always dropping that one. And I'm always afraid that one's going to break. And so I thought this one at 10 bucks, I just thought that he'd probably like this. It also will just play music if you want to. And again, he loves things that have music. And so although this looks babyish, I do think he's really going to enjoy this. Now in Joseph's something to wear category, he wears pajamas. He's like sleeper zip up pajamas all the time. Typically they have the little footy bottoms. I cut those off and he wears his pajamas backwards so that he's not able to unzip them in the middle of the night. He got two of them and this pair I thought was so cute with the moose. He's going to love that buffalo plaid and he's going to look so cute in that and he always loves everything sports. Now in his something to read. This year we actually decided to get all three of the youngest kids magazine subscriptions. Uh, it's been a long long time before since we have done that. And so we got, um, Joseph is getting Boy's Life, and I think that he's gonna like that magazine. He loves looking at Warren's hunting magazines and car magazines. And so um, looking at the Boy's Life, there were uh, sports articles in there and some like outdoor camping and things like that articles. So I think he's really gonna enjoy that and especially just getting mail monthly or every other month. I don't remember you know, what the schedule is for Boy's Life, but that's what he's gonna be getting. We also did pick up a couple, and I consider these something to read, even though they're not um, necessarily reading books, but coloring and things like that. So all three of these things here were from the Dollar Tree. Oh, I should tell you, both of the pajamas I did order from Amazon, as well as the microphone that came from Amazon. The rocket launchers from Fleet Farm and tractor supply for the tool set. Okay, back to the books. So we, I got him this little dinosaur color by number. I thought that would be fun. And then also I got him this sticker activity book. It comes, this is the pets one, and it comes with two pages of eyes, mouths, noses, uh, hats, glasses, things like that. And then you can just decorate the little pet faces. And he is going to love doing that because he loves making smiley faces. He had asked for something Spider-Man when we were making up Christmas lists. And this, come on, it's supposed to light up. It used to light up. It lit up in the store. 
Well, that's a bummer. Okay, maybe I'm not hitting it hard enough. Anyways, that did light up. <laughs> it's a dollar, so you know, you get what you pay for. Peter is getting this giant semi-trailer. It makes noises here when you push the little buttons, and it has two four-wheelers on it. That's going to be great because I know Joe is probably going to want to play with him, and being that there's two of them, they'll both be able to play. And probably, you know, Peter will be willing to share um, without there being too many uh, fusses between the two of them. We also got Peter one of these rocket launchers because I just know he's going to love it. Peter got some clothes in that haul video that I did back in, I think it might have been uh, October or something like that. Anyways, he had gotten one new outfit and a coat, a winter coat and snow pants, but he still, every single time he comes out of his bedroom, he's got holes in the knees of every pair of pants. So I, we picked him up for clothing. The clothing here came from Walmart and we got him this little pair of like sweatpants here. I think he's going to like that, kind of this black space dye. And then this hoodie, he loves hoodies. He has one and it's almost too small. He got it last year for Christmas, um, but I thought this was kind of fun. And then also we picked him up a new pair of jeans, Wonder Nation from Walmart, and then three shirts. So this one with the monster truck, all long sleeve. I really like this. This is kind of fun the way it has like the t-shirt and then it looks like a long underwear top underneath. Um, this one has a monster truck. This one here has the race car, which he's been super into Hot Wheels stuff lately, so he's going to love that. And then Warren picked this one out. It's a little bit dressier. No, no, um, you know, graphic on the front. It's got a little hood. Just looks a little bit dressier and a little bit neater. So, And then for his something to read, he actually is getting the magazine subscription to Ask. It's kind of a science-y type of a magazine and that I think comes every two months and that came in I think right around 24 or 25 dollars for the subscription and then he also is getting uh, this snowball soup book I like this he's going to be able to work on reading this right now so many of these words are um, his sight words and most of these it looks like he could sound out too so that he's going to enjoy then he is so into numbers in the hundreds at church, he is always asking me if um, to give him a number, and then he tries to find that hymn number. So I'll say like 471, and he'll spend time looking for it, and he just gets so pumped that he can find it. And this dot to dot has numbers up into the 200s, so that he is really going to love. And then he got one of these two, one of these little Ocean Life Color by Numbers, and a sticker Tivity book, both from Dollar Tree. He also, for in his stocking, is getting an ice fishing lure. Um, obviously, Warren picked that out because I would have no idea what to choose. But that, for sure, is going to go into his stocking. Let's move over to Maria. This year, for her Something for Fun, she has actually three items here. She has never, ever had one of these princess dolls or really anything Disney other than some little panties. So she's going to be just tickled to get ah, to get the um, Rapunzel doll. She's just going to love that. And she talks or sings to us. This we picked up for $26 at Fleet Farm. Now this is the cutest. This we picked up from Walmart. And let me see if I can make it do its thing here for you guys. She's going to love it. Okay. All right. We'll put that back there so it doesn't fall again. Then she had on her list My Little Pony things. And we actually did not get the My Little Pony brand. Uh, we saw those at Fleet Farm, but they actually looked like punk rock stars. And I just did not, I just wasn't into the style. So we found this Wonder Pony Land at Fleet Farm. This is just like a knockoff brand. And they actually remind me more of the My Little Ponies of my childhood. Very cute, very girly looking, and not so punk rock ish. So we picked that up for her. This was only seven, six ninety nine actually um, at Fleet Farm. Then we move on to clothing. 
which is really, really hard for me to keep it in a budget because I just love little girl clothes. Dollar Tree came through with some dollar mittens. These are not like snow mittens or anything, just mittens for wearing to town in the van. We just picked her up a new pack of princess panties, which she's going to absolutely adore. Again from Walmart, some new boots. Maria loves to wear boots with her dresses and her leggings and um, different outfits. A lot of times to church she won't really wear her, her winter boots uh, because her feet will get too hot. So these are just great for going to town, keeping the snow off her um, ankles, but not, um, but not being too hot. So pick those up for $20 at Walmart. And now we got her two dresses. One more is still on its way. I picked up all three dresses from Amazon and I picked out these two dresses. So this one, I love buying the dresses from Amazon. I get a lot of her dresses there. I think that we can get some styles that we don't always see in our, in our area. And quite honestly, I just think they're super cute. So definitely if you are, check measurements though, because a lot of them are like a, a, you know, more of an Asian or a Chinese kind of a measurement system. And so sometimes they do run a little small. But anyways, I got her this dress, long sleeve, super cute. She can wear this to church. She can wear it every day with little leggings. Um, this was $15. And then I got her these little light pink leggings from Kohl's. I know it says $12.99, but I paid something like, 650 or something for those leggings after coupons and things. I also picked out this dress. I'm hoping, woo, I'm hoping it's not too itchy for her. I'm feeling the back and it does feel a little itchy, but she can wear a tank top under this to keep her extra warm too. But this one I thought was just so adorable with the little roller skate. We went roller skating about a month ago and she just had such a ball, so I think she's going to love this little dress. It's very flary, too, which is so cute. Um, I was going to get her a new pair of... I was going to get her a pair of red leggings to go with this as well, um, but I'm kind of, I'm at the top of the budget for her already, so we're going to have to skip that. And then she does have a purple dress coming that Warren picked out, because he really is not overly into the dresses that have like the little designs. So I was talking with some women one day, and they thought it was really funny that Warren had opinions about the kids' clothes and things like that, especially like girl clothes. But anyways, he does. And so when I was looking at these different dresses at Amazon, and um, you know, I'm trying to get his input too. He's like, mm, mm, mm. and then he said, what about just a solid purple? So I type in solid purple size five dress, up come a whole bunch. And he pointed to the one he wanted. So she has one more dress coming. It's solid purple. Um, it's kind of a tiered dress. It has a little bit of a little bit of shape to it. It looks really cute. So anyways, that one is still coming. And that dress came in at, I think, $16. Okay, let's move on to Maria's uh, book choices here. So she is going to be getting the magazine Humpty Dumpty and I order all the magazines just from Amazon. You just go on there, type in magazine subscriptions, they'll all pop up and there'll be lots and lots of options there. Also from Dollar Tree and Nursery Rhyme Color by Number, she's going to totally dig that. We have the Three Blind Mice and Little Bo Peep and all kinds of things there. And a Princess Sticker Tivity book. Again, this one is slightly different in the sense that the faces are already on the pictures, but it comes with glasses and tiaras and rings and bows and things like that that you can decorate up all the princesses. And then I also found this book here at Fleet Farm, uh, My Little Treasury of Fairy Tales. My kids love getting these books that have multiple stories in one book and they just carry them around. Peter was so into thick books with multiple stories in one. He was into those for a couple years and just every night wanted me to read to him uh, another story. He loves using a bookmark. So anyways, I saw this one and this just was screaming out Maria's name. So it has all kinds of princess stories in here and I think that she's going to really like that. And this was not very expensive either. I want to say it was just under six dollars on sale at Fleet Farm. Cute little pictures. I like that. Just really, really sweet drawings and everything in that book. Okay, and then I have a couple other things here on Maria's pile. Two things from Dollar Tree. She's totally into Amber's bath bombs. So when I found this horse-shaped, what they're calling actually a bath burst, picked this up at Dollar Tree, and then some 
conditioning shampoo frozen of course because she's gonna dig that and then this little Chelsea doll I just think she's gonna have fun playing with that probably with those little my little ponies and these things are gonna go into her stocking most likely so you might be able to tell that Joseph's pile seems a little bit light right now I don't really have uh, much for stocking stuffers for him uh, as far as like little trinkety kinds of things. We usually put about three things in the kids stockings um, and you know again they could be a dollar item sometimes they could be a ten dollar item it just really depends and all of that gets tallied into their whole budget so they may get more expensive things in their stocking but then their present pile is going to be um, is going to be less. Oh, and it's also in their stockings, we have a pile of uh, like food, treats, candies, jerky, different things like that. So that, I guess, <laughs> brings me to the fact that I'm not completely done. I do need to find some kind of book to add to Joseph's um, small pile of books because I think these things... I think these things are mainly going to be going into his stocking since I don't have um, other things. And we're going to have to see if we can get this to work too. That's really a disappointment. When trying to keep things even as far as cost when you have, you know, more than one child, it, sometimes it gets a little tricky, especially like when, if you have a wider family like we do. We have kids all the way from five all the way up to 21 and a soon-to-be son-in-law as well who's even a little bit older than that. So it gets a little bit tricky to um, always think that it's going to be exactly the same dollar amount. Most importantly, though, what I do is just what I did here um, for you guys. I lay everything out. I did this for Warren, too, because I'm just going to keep my door closed. And then when he comes in from work, we're going to kind of take a look at this and make sure that we both think that this looks even. Because, like I said, more importantly than just the actual dollar amount is making sure that it looks even for the kids that are of similar ages. We'll look at the toys. Does it look even for all three, for Joseph, Peter, and Maria? How about their clothing? Does it look fairly even for all three of them? I'm looking at this and absolutely no. Joseph's does not look even. We're gonna have to do something, either return something that we got for somebody else or, or pick up something else for Joseph. So I'm going to have to see what Warren thinks because I don't have any great idea right now. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up and you guys have a very Merry Christmas and we'll see you next time.